you make great returns when you have multiple positions in the same stock before it starts moving you've heard me saying this a number of times but many here are still playing jenga with your investments this video is about how to pyramid the right way which is already covered in the course but i thought i should remind you again with examples of trades i've opened in the last few days how i bought multiple entries in them and what where you guys are going wrong so if you <clears throat> this is these are the few trades so i have about four positions in this and i started with this is the trade coaching ship and i started on 15th november with first position at this price so this is how the stock looked like and if you notice this is just like a the regular pattern that we follow every day it went really tight and this is why it was in my list and the next day there was this gap up opening and the low reversed i'm not getting into the deep of the entry way to enter and all which apparently most have here have understood the idea here is to remind you that what is what is going on in my head when i create multiple positions and where you guys are in, uh, are going wrong <laughs> so this is the day when i opened my first position in in coaching ship this is 15th november and then the next day was nothing that nothing really happened and then if you notice that my next position was on 21st november so how 21st november look like is this <clears throat> this is the next day also before 21st november if you now notice that the same thing was going on here the stock is not so when i'm opening my new position i check the foundation again just because i opened here on the first does not mean i will drop and ignore the foundation just because you own the stock does not mean it will just keep going uh, higher and higher the foundations apply it for every entry when i'm opening adding more on 21st november do you really think it is up from 3 4 days in a row up a lot away from the average is no it's still the same like if you never had entry here it's still a valid entry it if you never had the first entry here you would have selected it and followed the foundation so when i'm adding added here i it is still a valid uh stock which had which i'm not buying up in the air i'm buying on day one of the move if if let's say this move starts that will be after the rest of the 3 4 days so just like here the second entry also is as per the foundation i'm not buying after 3 4 days of like three four green bar bars in a row <clears throat> then my third entry was on 23rd november this which is <clears throat> again on th 23rd november if i check back last i'm not buying some three four green bars after some three four green bars in a row i'm still the stock is still closer to 10 uh, day moving average and if i never had here and here it, if this was my first entry ask yourself is this valid or not so <clears throat> just because i already own it i'm again telling you i'm not you i will show you examples of how you have ignored the foundations on your second third entries but which is what you uh, where you going wrong i have followed on the first entry second entry and even third entry i am buying closer to the averages i'm not buying after so many green bars in a row and the stock has not taken on the stock is still there it has not done anything so i'm buying basically i'm buying closer to my first price first entry and i'm not forcing it it is giving me that opportunity to do it i'm not i mean there's no forced entry here and then my fourth entry is on 28th november which is this and now on this one it is third green day in a row but the last two days this is it has not done really it is like some 6% move in the last two days it is not as great as these entries but again you have to it is a coaching shipyard if you see the stud the the past when it moves it moves really you just see the past moves it is a it is a wild beast and whenever it has moved it has moved given 40 50% on an average so this is just a 6% move that i've missed so and i already had three positions i wanted to allocate as much as i could without taking too much risk so this is where i added my fourth entry and so far this is what it has done the point here is that i am buying following the foundations for every entry which is and <clears throat> so basically i'm not buying after the the stock has moved up a lot which many here has done i'm buy i bought here then i bought added here then added on 28th 
also added on 23rd. So four entries, this is how I created. The next one, I bought JSW on 15th November. This is, this is 15th November. Clearly a strong start day. This was my first entry and then it went, my next was on 22nd November. It went really tight for next two, three days. And on 22nd November, it, in fact, it went tight for so many days. On 22nd November, there was a clear no-brainer strong start and I added. So again, on the second entry, I followed the foundation. The stock was not up for many days in a row. The stock had been resting, not doing anything. So I followed the foundation on day one, followed followed the foundation on a second entry. And my third entry, is just been, I bought just yesterday at 415. And if you see on 1st December, this is when I created... Is it, am I buying after so many green bars in a row? The stock is still there. It was resting, it was resting, it was resting. So I'm buying after the rest. I'm I'm following the foundation. I'm not buying anything expensive, like extended, I mean. So first, second, third, almost near the, around the same price. This was, this was first was, I think, 401. Second is 408. Third is 41, sorry. 415. So almost around the same range. And the stock is not following the foundation on every entry. So that's how I'm pyramiding. And if it now it delivers, it I will make good money. <clears throat> Another trade is IRB. I bought on the first one was on 15 November again. So this is 15 November. And if you see this 15 November, I bought it here. And before buying, the stock was not up from many green days in a row. The stock is just resting around 10 and 20. So I'm follow I followed the foundation on day one. And then I added more on November 17th. Did I follow the foundation? Was the stock up six, seven green bars in a row? No. I followed here again. So maybe that's why it's working for me. <clears throat> Another entry. Now these are the entries that I could not add more to, and which is what, which is where you are. What what you're doing is okay. Let me show you the example first. Tita. So I bought here. You can see I bought on 13 November. Sorry. I bought here. And then, I never added the stock. Just kept going up because, like JSW, like IRB, like Cochin, it was never. Basing, basing, it just exploded after my buy. Maybe had I, if I could have created here, if I was really watching it here, maybe. But here, this there was this purple dot day, so not valid. I mean, this is not 10 days old. So, so basically, I just added here and then it never offered me. What you guys are doing, you guys are buying after this move, you, you buy here. And what you're ignoring is, you maybe, okay, you are buying here and your second entry is coming here. The problem with that is, now you're ignoring that the stock is up 25% in three days. And suddenly now you're not following the foundation. The stock has not rested enough. You are just ignoring that the stock is just rested for seven days. I am buying here, here, and then this is when, this is what I capture with all the three entries. You buy here, and then you second entry, you're buying here. I'm not buying here because I will buy here when the, consolidation is enough. You are ignoring this, what the stock has done. For example, one member had CDSL. You bought CDSL, great, somewhere here, very good entry. But the second entry you added somewhere here. Now the same issue for me is that it is up 30%, 38% in 10 days and who has only rested for 10 days. If you can, what I try to do is I try to buy before the move starts. And if the move, if I am unable to, like in the example of this one, then I don't buy. I let it be. I'm happy with just one position. I will buy more when it settles down, when the foundation gives me a green signal that the stock has, is not, not up for many days in a row. The stock is has rested enough. So basically, I try to be at the beginning of the move, not after this move has passed. So if this move has, if you only have one entry, like I had in Tita, but if you see, I only have one position and then I closed 
the majority i could not add because it never allowed me to add so i will now if i want to add theta god at all i will have to let it rest for 20 days it's been only 7 days and if i buy here again uh, let me just clarify this because i said it in the q and a if i still buy here then i have to be prepared to not see any gains for the 20, next 20 days because you this is what the average so you have to be basically prepare yourself that if you buying here don't expect fast moves because the stock is not rested enough sometimes i can buy for the purpose of creating multiple positions like i showed in the bsoft example in your course faf i started buying bsoft even when the rest consolidation period was not over but i was prepared for it and i wanted to add and I, that's how i add multiple positions there and sat through it for some 15 20 days and then it started moving and i made decent money so my point here is <clears throat> you're buying here expecting that you'll get instant move but that move does not come because basically you just ignored the foundation which the same foundation that you followed on your first entry another trade that i could not add an lc india i had first position on 8th november this is the day i bought after and and on the day one itself it just went up some 8% i could have added here on there was a busted is right in the morning um i think i was occupied somewhere or maybe involved in some other trade i don't i don't remember but because i missed it after that it never allowed me to add because do you see the jsw kind of behavior do you see coaching kind of a behavior where it is just around the same price and offering me multiple entries no it just kept going higher and higher and i think i booked 50% here because yeah you can see that i booked because it was extended huge uh, big bars multiple bars in a row and, and you most some of you buy here after this kind of move like this basically the foundations are not really followed and i'm i again i already i have some position left i did not add because the same logic it is up some 18% which is not up a lot but has rested only 9 8 9 days so i am i will i mean you need to let it rest the rest period again i have told you that how do you find the ideal what is the ideal rest period the answer is that you need to really verify this yourself so that you truly understand what the rest period is just study previous moves usually 40% in 2 days if you get 40% in 2 days the stock dies for 2 3 months and how do i know i just study last any pick up any stock which is given 40% in 2 days and then study you don't get any good move up for the next 2 3 months so that's how you can study 20% move in few days 10% move in few days 40% move in few days and then you'll realize that the rest period is not done so the idea, the point here what i'm trying to make is you don't add you don't follow the foundations and you keep adding thinking because you already have one position and you want to create more positions in it but you followed the foundation you followed all the rules on your first position but did not on the second and third and somebody actually said this in the club that you always make money on the first but never on the second and guess what the reason was uh i don't remember the stock name if the person is listening maybe you can comment he bought it after a 40% move in only few days so if you do that you will not make money on your pyramid entries if you study my trades this is how i added bsoft which is covered in the in your course this is how i added, added zentech this is how i added coach and ship just now this is how i added uh, jsw i'm buying before the move starts and i'm buying following the foundations for every entry second entry does not mean that the foundations will not really apply also <clears throat> uh i keep getting this message in the club that the stock is good for this reason xyz you basically trying to justify why the stock is good so should we drop the foundation like if this is a great cup and handle the stock is usually moves in the past also when it had a cup and handle so it moved really well now again the stock is giving cup and handle and it is already up 3 from the last 3 weeks it is giving big three green weeks in a row but because there is a cup and handle should i buy it? my point is when we did the foundation exercise and we went as back as 100 years did we did you see anything different you all agreed that this is how stocks move did you see that no there is an exception if the cup and handle is there if this is there if a rectangle is there if a head and shoulder is there so the stock will continue to do continue to move and ignore the foundations no foundations are foundations that is why you call them foundations if the stock is up for many 3 weeks in a row the odds are not in your favor that you will get an instant gain and especially if you only working with 2% prof 2% stop 
you have to time your entry well so that you just start getting moves right from you have to be on the day one you have to be on the week one or maybe max day two or week two to to improve the odds and make money right from the start if foundations supersede everything there is no other there is no exception to the foundation so this is what i wanted to cover in the video i hope it fixes your pyramid entries watch uh, all the trades that are covered study the trades that i've covered in this video study the trades examples that i've covered in faf this is how i always add it to my open positions i don't really i i never i will never buy after a 40% move i will never add my second entry after a 40% move without it correcting a bit without it settling down for a bit for a few days so if you have any questions use the members club channel and let me know thank you